Hey everybody on YouTube, if you like food and travel, you need to subscribe to our Facebook page, Lovey's Fat Life. Go on Facebook, just do a search for groups and look for Lovey's Fat Life. We'll have a ton of cooking videos and travel videos on there. But again, go ahead and head over to Facebook and ask to join. Thank you. All right, on today's video, we have one of our favorites, and it's smoked meatloaf. So we fire up the Shirley Fabrication smoker, and we fix six muffins, and we do a loaf of meatloaf. We put some bacon around that muffin pan and put the meatloaf down the middle of it. Man, it's some good eating. Awesome leftover, cut it up in slices, put it on some bread, with a little bit of mayonnaise on there a day or two later. Excellent, excellent cook. Uh, we're going to have the recipe and the ingredients at the very end of this video. Please like and subscribe. But hang tight with us, get you a beverage, and kick back and watch us fire up this Shirley Fabrication and smoke this meatloaf. Thank you. Hey, this is Mike Lovelace, and this is Anthony. Hey, and we're with Lovey's Fat Life, and uh, we're here today to do a, a cooking video for you. And today we're going to fi fix meatloaf on the smoker. So we've got our recipe at the end of this video, and we're going to smoke some of my famous meatloaf on the Shirley Fabrication vertical smoker right here. And man, it's smelling good already. We got some apple, a little bit of cherry, and hickory on the in the firebox. And we're firing this thing up. It's going to take about an hour, we're hoping. And then it'll be done. Then we'll get to eat that with some mashed potatoes. And I also got some corn wrapped in bacon with some seasoning on it. And this guy right here loves corn, don't you? I love corn. All right. We'll see you guys in a little bit. Uh, like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. I Thank like you. Meatloaf. Anthony, how do you, you like meatloaf? Uh-huh. Does it make you do flips and cartwheels? Yes. Well, let's see. And that boy goes crazy over meatloaf. Mm -hmm. Cartwheels over meatloaf. Come back and do another one this way. Cool. All right, now we're gonna take a quick look at some of the ingredients we're gonna need for this meatloaf. We're gonna need some eggs. You're gonna need a green pepper. You're gonna chop that up. You're gonna need a half an onion. You can get a sweet onion or a Vidalia onion. You're gonna need a pack of Ritz crackers your favorite sausage and some ground beef chuck um, then whatever your favorite barbecue sauce you want um, steak marinade or Worcestershire sauce pepper sea salt garlic salt and then we also I forgot to put it in here but you're gonna have a pack of bacon and some uh, petite diced tomatoes that is actually optional uh, I put it in this video but you don't have to and on that onion it's a half an onion you're also gonna put some mustard in here as well All right, now we're gonna mix all this together. We got our hamburger here. Um, I used 80-20, but I, I would probably suggest really use 90-10 or 93-7. Um, but we got our hamburger and we're gonna add our sausage, a pound of sausage, two pounds of hamburger. You can go a little bit more on the hamburger, up to two and a half pounds. We add some uh, petite diced tomatoes here. We've added our half a large onion. We've added our green peppers and you can actually use red peppers. I've seen some people use the red peppers. Um, and now we're going to take that, that um, uh, crackers, that sleeve of Ritz crackers and crunch those up. We're getting ready to pour those on here. Also adding the salt and pepper. And at the end of this video, I'm going to have the ingredients and how much to use on each one of these. Um, but right here, I'm crushing up those uh, crackers. I'm going to pour those in. You could use breadcrumbs as well, but I like to use Ritz crackers. Or you could use some saltine white crackers. And then uh, I'm pouring here some steak marinade, which has got a lot of Worcestershire sauce in it. But you can use Worcestershire sauce as well. You can substitute that at the end. And then some mustard. You can also use dry mustard um, seasoning if you'd rather put that in there. Uh, I liked it wet. Here's the two eggs. You can either whip those up in advance. I just went ahead and broke them up, put them in here, and then broke them and um, just mix it all in real good. So this part right here, you're just getting your hands dirty, which I'm wearing gloves. You can wear gloves, whatever you want to do. And just, uh, just you know, pounding this stuff, mixing it up really well, getting it nice and uh, nice consistency to it with the green peppers and the onions and the tomatoes. Uh, I've done this recipe before too without the diced tomatoes, so you could do that as well. Some people just take uh, your ketchup and pour it inside with it uh, at the beginning. And then we're going to use our uh, bacon here to line the pans of the muffin pans. So 
since I'm cooking this on the smoker, I want plenty of moisture in it. I don't want this to dry out. This is another one of those things that's really just adding extra moisture to it. And also that baker, bacon flavor adds to the meatloaf. So I would definitely suggest doing this. If you're wanting your bacon you know, more crispy, you might want to cook it halfway first or maybe even put it in a microwave for a short amount of time and get that, you know, get, get some of the, let it cook a little bit and take some of the grease out of it. I put these straight out of the pack into the pan. So at the end when I complete this, the bacon is not crisp on the outside. Um, I'm a big fan of crispy bacon, so I really didn't even eat that, but it just ma mainly keeps it moist and uh, gives it that bacon flavor. So here, just taking out a, a, a big handful of uh, the meatloaf. And uh, in this video, we're doing it in muffin pans and loaf pans, just so you can see the difference. Um, the muffins here, when we cooked these, it took about an hour and 15 minutes, whereas the loaf took about an hour and 45 minutes. So it took a little longer than I thought. And then I also was running these temperatures pretty warm for a smoker. I was cooking these at about 400 degrees. So I'd up the, um, the temperature and was cooking at 400 pretty consistent. So again, it took an hour and 15 minutes on the muffins and about an hour and 45 minutes on the uh, loaf. Here we're spraying the loaf pan and just taking whatever we had left over, pack it down inside of um, this small uh, loaf pan. We're gonna throw both of these on the smokers here shortly. All right, while we're smoking this meatloaf, my son loves corn, and he loves our corn with bacon on it. So uh, I soak this corn for about an hour in some salt water, and then I take it out and put it in an aluminum pan, put some Slap Your Mama uh, seasoning on it. But first I take some squeeze butter, pour butter all over top of the corn, and then uh, season this real good with the Slap Your Mama. It's got a little bit of a kick to it, a little bit of heat to it. And then we come back and put um, bacon over top of this again anything and everything is better with bacon um, so at the end of this again the bacon is not crispy it just mainly the bacon grease is going down onto the corn and and just uh, keeping it moist and not dried out all right so here we're getting ready to put our rub I mean put our meatloaf into the smoker and I put my Carolina Love Rub, any kind of your favorite uh, barbecue rub. You don't have to put this on here. I like to just to add a little bit more taste to it. But we do this with it and also with the, um, the muffins. Um, of course, you got to have your favorite beverage if it's hot. Um, don't hate on me because that's a Miller Lite. But, and then we, here's our muffins. Uh, we put a little bit of um, this Carolina Love Rub, which it's got a little paprika, a little cayenne pepper, it's got 13 different seasons in it. Um, this is mine that I make. Um, but you can use whatever your favorite um, barbecue rub is to put on top of this. Or you don't even have to do this at all, but just adds a little bit of extra layer of flavor into it. All right, now we're adding the uh, the meatloaf and the muffin pans into the smoker here. We got this cranked up to about 400 degrees. Uh, we're also going to add the corn into the back of this as well. Uh, so we, we got these on, ready to go. Set your timer again, about an hour and 15 minutes on the um, the muffins. It took about an hour and a half, hour and 45 minutes, hour and a half to hour and 45 minutes on the loaf because it's uh, a little bigger quantity in a small area. So. All right, we're about 30 minutes into this. Let's see what these what these look like. Ooh, man, that's smelling good. Yeah, that meatloaf rounding up on the top. Bacon's back there dripping down onto the corn. Yeah, this looks good. Give this thing about 30 more minutes. 
All right, these um, internal temp on the meat loaf is about 130 after an hour, so it's still got a little ways longer to go, but we're gonna go ahead and eat. And these are right at 160. So I'm gonna go ahead and put some barbecue sauce on the back ones. And my wife likes ketchup. So this is just a sweet baby ray, use whatever you want. And then we're gonna put some ketchup on the back. You can see the um, the bacon on the side. These things are. These are loose. They're going to come out of the uh, pans really easy. It's going to be great. That's still cooking, so we're going to eat these probably these first, and uh, let that meatloaf continue to cook. The loaf actually, but these uh, muffins that we created, um, they're, they're they're actually done now. So we're going to let this cook a little bit longer, but another 10-15 minutes, maybe another 10 minutes, so this will caramelize on top. Smells great. Yes. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. All right, so now we're taking these out of the uh, muffin pans, and man, these are so good. They smelled so great, too. Here at the top of that came out. I used a fork. I should have used a... Um, something else to get them out a little spatula or something but uh, we made six of these that bacon around the side keeps them nice and moist excellent excellent um, meal and again muffins if you do these in a muffin pan it's going to take you less time to cook them as it would a loaf pan but you can do them either way but these are excellent you can play to these things with some of that corn and some mashed potatoes my wife whipped up homemade uh, mashed potatoes excellent meal you got to try these out I'm getting ready to show you a little bit of the loaf as well when it comes out but give these things a try I promise you you'll like them great uh, heated up as a leftover as well in the sandwich but I, I do really think you're going to like these all right we've hit 160 internal temp on the meatloaf and uh, poured a little bit of that grease, the drippings, out of it. And you see how it separated from the sides a little bit. But I'm telling you what, we just got through eating the muffins and they were really good. So I'm gonna put some, this barbecue sauce on here and you can use whatever kind you you like or if you make your own. I'm just using Sweet Baby Ray's because it was handy and we like it. And we'll put this on top and then put it back in the caramelize. Got to be good. Got to be good. All right, we're at the end of this cook, and uh, this is this meatloaf once it came off. Again, it was awesome, just like the meatloaf muffins were. Uh, we're getting ready to cut into this and let you guys take a look at it and see what it looked on the inside. Uh, smoking this on the smoker did create a smoke ring on both of them, but again, try this out. I, I really do think you'll like it. 
Um, please like and subscribe to our channel. Uh, check us out on Facebook on Lovey's Fat Life. Uh, the fat stands for food and travel. Of course, I'm a hefty guy as well, so we'll play on those words. But getting ready to cut in this meatloaf here, and you can see the green peppers and the onions and the tomatoes, and it's just some really good stuff here. Um, but again, thank you again for checking us out. Like and subscribe to our channel. Check us out on Facebook at Lovey's Fat Life. And um, hope you guys have a blessed day. Thank you. All right, as promised, um, I've got right here the Southern Smoked Meatloaf recipe. I'm not going to go over every little thing on here. You can pause your screen and take a snapshot of this. But again, uh, I hope you enjoy this. If there's certain things in here you don't like, just substitute them out. If you like jalapenos in here, substitute those for green peppers or red peppers instead of green peppers or take the onions out. Uh, just have fun with this and enjoy. Thank you for watching and subscribe.